what is happening guys happy sunday it's been quite some time right so if you people have been following me on my social media you might know that i was actually traveling in dubai for the last few days for asus tech event on sustainability where they will be showcasing lots of new interesting products and also gadgets as well and i am here to show all of that in this video so it was like a four day fun trip and day one was mostly like meet and greet session with the entire acer team we also got to meet the other media who came from india and all over the world as well and has invited media from vietnam indonesia malaysia japan singapore and also obviously india as well from our country i was not sure who else was attending but anyways we'll get to know once we go to the event over there so as i've told you day one was mostly like meet and greet session with the team check in into the hotel relax and you know enjoy the city so they basically left us to explore the place we were free to do anything and that is the reason i left to explore the city after a long time this is actually my solo trip so it was kind of fun i would say i went to burj khalifa dubai mall as well took a lot of pictures you'll actually find all these interesting stories on my instagram and twitter so make sure to follow me over there and don't forget to hit the like button on this video guys and subscribe and stay tuned to our channel lots of interesting videos are gonna drop soon including some awesome tech shopping in dubai so that was basically my day one in the city and day two was the main event today Good morning guys what a beautiful day in Dubai right and today is the day we will be attending Acer event that is the whole reason we actually came to Dubai right Acer is holding a global press conference and we'll be talking about their future sustainability so this is more like a conference plus exhibition i would say they've basically gathered all the media and journalists from all over the world a global event is happening right and they'll be showcasing all of their innovative technologies they talk about their upcoming road map and showcase their all sorts of eco friendly products which will help reduce the carbon footprint and stuff like that you people can definitely expect to check out interesting tech items i would say innovative stuff you might have not seen anywhere before because this is dubai on top of that the whole event is about sustainability from acer right so pretty excited and hyped about this anyways keeping that right the event is happening around 3 o'clock today and right now the time is around like 1 o'clock so i'll go down have my lunch catch up with the other media guys and after that we will be gathering up in the lobby from their acer team has arranged like buses and we'll go there directly to the event place it's not that far also i think hardly around like 1 hour keeping that aside i do have to talk about dubai's climate this is like winter for us in india right and in india right now it's like super cool out there and i was expecting the same thing but nay in dubai climate is like still hot over here look at the scene outside very hot sun right try to bring like summer clothes if you're traveling to dubai food is like very similar to indian food guys if you look at the buffet breakfast at our hotel also they had poha upma and also parathas were there alu paratha and not to miss out all sorts of bread so you can easily survive in dubai even if you go to any mall right you'll easily find kfc uh, burger king wendy's is available and if you check out indian food you'll easily find biryani paratha and naan is also available butter chicken these sort of stuff is like very familiar so you can easily survive in dubai and coming to the pricing as i've told you pricing is slightly a bit expensive only for a one time meal say suppose for one person if you want to have lunch right you'll need minimum of 30 dirhams 30 ad which if you roughly convert to indian rupee that might be around like 850 900 rupees so for one time lunch you'll have to spend that much so right now let's quickly head down and catch up with the other media guys Hello guys say hello to Sameer from 91 Mobiles and Vivek so right now we are going to go grab some lunch oh hey, you are pretty fancy with the drinks yeah costed us around 45 dirhams that's how uh, okay. maybe you guys got for spike So guys, we have Suraj over here from Acer. Hi Suraj, how are you doing? Hi Vimal, all good. Our audience is like very excited to know about today's Acer sustainability event. What can we expect? Can you share some words? Yeah, sure. So the reason why we have this conference today at Dubai is because uh, COP28 conference is happening, and and this is the perfect backdrop for us to you know talk about sustainability. As Acer, uh, you know, we are very se serious about uh, bringing in technology which are uh, responsibly made, responsibly sourced. 
and we promote reusability. Uh, so you know, we have so much of exciting products in the lineup, which are made with sustainable materials. And uh, you're gonna see more of the news from Acer on how we are able to change. Uh, the whole uh, IT ecosystem with sustainable products and sustainable business practices. So that's what we're going to see and uh, we can't wait to show all of you, uh, you know, all of our uh, sustainable innovations. We still have like half an hour on the way to the event hall. In between there's a break. They're taking us to the Jumeirah beach. And man, the view is beautiful. Hey, this is like a nice organized trip, I would say. Like, stopping in between to show these beautiful spots. Good job, eh, sir? It's an old model. So, what is this place called? Eh? Al Circle uh, Arena. Oh, so almost about an hour later, we are finally here at Acer's event. And this is it, boys. This is where Acer's sustainability event is happening. Check out the whole theme. Oh my god, look at the crowd over here. Event is jam packed with media from all over the globe and it's like pretty awesome guys. You know, I really love attending these sort of tech events, especially the international ones because we get to meet content creators and media from everywhere. It is so much fun interacting with them. And after some time press conference started and this is where they were talking about their sustainability tech and lot of other e-friendly products they'll be unveiling at this show. As I've told you, it's an exhibition as well where they will be showcasing lots of interesting products and we will be getting our hands on as well. And finally, after the conference ended, exhibition demo zone was actually Actually opened and this is where we actually got our hands on on Acer's new sustainable tech and gadgets. Wide range of products which include laptops, a couple of smart bikes, scooters, e-scooters I'm talking about and not to miss out a couple of consumer electronics as well. Starting off with the laptops guys, let's go over there and check out what do these people have over here which included Acer Vero 15 and 16 and also other models like Travelmate Vero series. So basically these Vero series are like green laptops and this is also the company's very first carbon neutral or carbon zero category laptop. That means the whole thing is like eco-friendly and is basically a green product guys. Vero laptop is made of a blend of 60% recycled plastic and Acer is calling it as PCR material, post consumer recycled plastic guys. Like how cool is that? And also it is paint free, the whole body doesn't have any sort of paint guys yet has beautiful touch and feel i mean look at the finishing on the products and you might have a question regarding the finishing right let me tell you despite it being made of like recycled material it actually feels and looks quite premium i would say i love the finishing you can feel the whole texture is different on the body over here and one more really interesting feature is look at the touchpad. The surface of this touchpad on the laptop is made using ocean bound plastic. Very interesting stuff, right? Though this is just like an unveil guys, we still don't have all the information. Acer is yet to give all the details during CES 2024. So we'll still have to wait for a couple of time. But one thing I can tell you is it's not just about the looks. It's also quite powerful. So not just green, but mean machine as well. These laptops are going to be powered by Intel's all new core ultra series CPUs that will also feature Intel AI Boost and dedicated neural chipset as well. So that was about the Vero notebooks and laptops and unfortunately there were no gaming category laptops this time. Maybe next year we might get to see gaming Vero series laptops as well. We'll just have to hope and wait. Anyway, second thing that actually caught my eye during the event are these smart bikes and e-scooters from Acer. Look at this. This is Acer's all new EBI AI smart bike. I mean, it's an electric bike from the brand. When did Acer start making this? That is so cool. Look at the whole design over here. It is minimal and modern guys. It's got like an aluminum alloy frame and also has like a powerful single sided motor that is built into the tire and has lots of AI smart functions. This thing literally has like a 460 watt lithium ion battery and can give you like a top speed of up to 25 kilometers. It's mainly made for like city commute and has a range of up to like 105, 110 kilometers per charge. Like very cool stuff I'm saying, right? It also has like smart LED lighting and also AI stuff like it has collision detection sensors built-in GPS for location tracking and also offers like smart keyless entry I am very excited to ride this thing I hope it really comes to our Indian market as well and not to miss out the battery on it supports fast charging and the whole charging can be done within two two and a half hours and can also be used as a power bank pretty cool stuff right 
Moving on, these are Acer Solnews Smart E scooters, and the series is called as ES. We have a couple of variants over here: ES1, 3, and that bigger one is called as ES5. Best part about them is they're very portable, and they're also foldable, guys. They're made to offer comfortable ride, and are mainly made for like city purpose. They do have LCD display on the front that show a lot of information, like the current speed you're going at, or maybe like the battery level. And good thing is they're also IPX5 rated water resistant. Also, these scooters feature like a 250 or 350 watt motor depending on the variant maybe ES3 or ES5 and will offer a max speed of up to 25 kmph same as the AB smart bike and offers a range up to like 60 kilometers per charge so pretty decent i would say i'm not sure about the pricing details we'll have to wait for you know CES 2024 that is when we'll get to know full details about this product i hope they'll be quite affordable because i can definitely see people buying these sort of stuff especially in the indian market guys it would be like very cool right And last but not the least in the bike section this was something very interesting i actually found this is called a bike desk and the model is called as eConnect BD3 so usually lot of people use laptops at their office right and by sitting for long hours it kind of affects their health and for these sort of modern problems obviously you'll need like modern solutions right all these products are made using like pcr material only which is like post consumer recycled plastic material so basically as you can see the bike has like pedals and you'll need to pedal it over here and this will generate energy and can charge your laptop or any other device that you connect to this desk like how cool is that and yes it also measures and analyzes complete fitness data like how much distance you've traveled or how much time you spent on the session and gives you full analysis on your calories burnt as well So these were a couple of products that actually piqued my interest and I spent a lot of time with them playing over there and apart from these Acer has also unveiled a couple of consumer grade products which included air purifiers water purifiers and that too will be like customized for Indian market which will include UV and RO based water filtration system also we'll get to know more details in the coming days and let's see which category of products will Acer bring into the Indian market so that was basically it our complete coverage on Acer's global press conference on sustainable tech 2023 I hope you all enjoyed watching this video and got to learn a lot today. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such interesting videos. And I'll continue this journey in my next one.